Hi Aquarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your romance reading for uh, May and I hope you will enjoy it. I'm using the Enchanted Dream Tarot, one of my favourite decks at the moment because my new decks are being delayed because of the virus and uh, all the borders are closed and my prayers and my healings do go out to you and everybody and also my gratitude and thanks to the people that are still keeping the economic situation going like shops and the people that work in the shops doctors firemen police etc and of course the health carers but they get the most recognition at the moment but we mustn't forget the people that uh, fill the shelves in the shop as well uh, thank you very much and the young ones are doing their best the young ones and old everybody of every single age it is a difficult time so you might be a little bit depressed don't give up because um, it will be over soon um, why am I saying this because you have the nine of pentacles so endings are coming your way you've got the world and you have the ace of swords new beginnings are on their way whether it's in love or general there has been a shift since the 4th and the 5th of April when there was global meditation and it's quite interesting that things are moving rapidly just listen to the news every day thank goodness things are going better so if you are new welcome to the channel and please subscribe and hit the bell and when you hit the bell make the choice on all then you'll be notified when I go live on Monday Wednesday and Friday then I give free cards away and there's also the opportunity of asking a question uh, with a, a donation I'm sorry if your country does not allow donation in super chat then make the payment before I go live so that I can give you a super chat uh, or a, uh, an answer to your question and you can also use super stickers they start from 99 cents if you would like an extensive reading then have a look below the video for all the information or click on the little white circle with the eye in the screen and that will take you to the website I do update that one and I've just put out a new uh, edition on the witches series we are talking about limitations handicaps and the cards of the witches oracle deck so now I'm going to start with your romance reading I'm obviously using the romance deck and the enchanted dream tarot and the answer of the angels and you definitely have a very positive reading uh, by the looks of it at a glance because you've already got yes from the angels a definite yes as there is an exclamation mark okay pay attention to red flags okay the signs are caution cautioning you okay so be a warned person forewarned is forearmed this could be a uh, red flags to do with negativity or positivity if you are madly in love and you are separated then pay to the uh, red attention of the red flags uh, when the when somebody's absent the heart grows fonder that could be a red flag somebody might be trying to get back sooner than uh, later there might be uh, things being said through emails or text messages or telephone like ah let's go out and I'm, I'm missing you and those are all positive things because when you're going to get back together again and it could happen in the first week of May or the at the end of April there will be magic and also of course if somebody is sounds negative then those could be the red flags as well but uh, like I said you've got a very positive reading Aquarius you've got the ace of swords that means victory you might come into some information so that will make things clear 
boom, there might be an offer. Some there might be, like I said, there might be information w in a message or in a conversation, and something might become clear to you. That it could be an uh, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarian that is really madly in love with you and wants to partner up with you. Perhaps that's your wish. So that is victory on your wish. Uh, if it's in a general reading, then I would say if you are in a judicial situation, you've got victory. You g deserve what you uh, you get what you deserve, and so will the other. But in this case, in the romance reading, I say something will become clear to you. Uh, as the swords stand for communication, wisdom, um, and uh, clarity, justice, and honesty. So somebody might give you a message that will make things clear and is honest. It could be uh, sharp because this sword's cut on both sides and has a point on it. So they might be very, very sharp to the point. They will say, because if an air sign is also very quickly, they might say something flippant uh, like, I love you, I want to get married, something like that, all of a sudden. So it's coming straight, sharp is coming out with the force. Look at the force of lightning behind that sword. So you see different things in every card, in every deck, although the basic meaning stays the same. <coughs> this could be happening in the first week of May. Ah, and then in the second week, the end of the first week, going into the second week, you've got playfulness. Ooh, somebody's missing you. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Aquarius, ooh, ooh, ooh. the Geminis do love that. They are very playful. They're the most playful uh, of the air signs. As Libra always procrastinates as if they are always weighing things up and taking their time. And Aquarius, yes, Aquarius um, is also very playful, but it, um, is um, s also slower than Gemini, because that is the uh, uh, 11th house, and that's Pisces is the last house, so it is a mature soul usually, so they will uh, wait, and they've got the experience of, or they've grown into the experience of taking it slower. But something is coming to an end and there is a new beginning. Perhaps there is a divorce um, that's coming through now and that's final, finally clear. Perhaps that it is, that is cleared away that's cl and then that is giving you clarity. So perhaps you've been waiting on somebody, um, not because of the COVID virus only, but also because um, they were married or they were partnered up and that's come to an end and there is a new beginning. The world also means you hold the world in your hand. The world is your oyster. So beautiful things are array. Also this could mean travelling. This could also mean uh, moving home, moving in together perhaps. That might become clear to you. That might be the offer or the red flags at hand. It could also mean that you might be going on holiday. This could be a honeymoon. Ooh, nice one. And the world is, of course, around. It's like the Wheel of Fortune. It's the Karma card. If you've done good, you'll get it back threefold. And same with negativity. And also, if somebody's done you wrong or good, they will get it back threefold. Also, um, the, circle me uh, the circle means for me, um, if you are hooked up, you're going on to the next level because it keeps on going round and round and the world goes round and round as well. So, there you go. Now, we all know that the tarot cards do represent um, zodiac signs, but I don't see any specific uh, people like queens, kings or pages. Okay, now in the third week, what did I say? You're going up a next level. Look at this, you've got the card of engagement. You might be getting engaged. Or from going out 
uh, with somebody, it might becoming uh, it might become a steady relationship, and going out or moving in together, like I said, moving home. The engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So something is really becoming clear to you. And you've got the Six of Cups. That could be somebody from the past coming back to you and presenting you with a gift, Aquarius. Uh, well, you know this person, somebody you might be getting engaged to a person. This could be a new beginning. <coughs> like I said, a Gemini, an air sign, or Libra, or an Aquarius. Um, that's coming in and that could be uh, from somebody from the past you might be reminiscing about the past but you will be getting a gift of some kind or information like I said at the beginning of the month also you like I said you were going on a holiday or moving in uh, well look at this um, if it is somebody from the past, they might want to get to know you again much better because you have both changed. Because if you've uh, if you've met them before, then lots of things have happened, especially if there has been on one side a divorce. Okay, the retreat. It is time to disconnect from the world and go into your own little world with your loved one you've got the nine of pentacles and that means something is coming to an end and you're going into a better period yes if you join up together there will be more money there will be more comfort there will be uh, a new beginning like i said you're going into a voluptuous luxurious new beginning you will have the money now perhaps you did get that promotion the world also means promotion going up a next level <coughs> pardon me um, in uh, general as well in work or love this could mean that somebody um, this is judicial as well that could be a new job and the job could be uh, in communication or wisdom like you could be a judge you could be an advocate you could be a teacher you could be a butcher uh, you might not have been able to afford to uh, move in together and now you are because you've got the promotion and you've got the money definitely happy times ahead and to cap it all you've got the ten of cups happy families perhaps an extension in the family this could be a child but it could also be a dog or a cat that is that belongs also to the family um, and that is also an extension heaven and earth are bound together this is an ending the ten and new beginnings emotional well balanced new beginnings wow amazing this is the overall energy and if you've got an answer it is a definite yes will I will we live together will I move in or will he move in or she move in yes it's a definite answer yes it's an absolutely positive gorgeous reading I hope you've enjoyed it and my sweeties take care stay safe be blessed and set the intention um, to uh, receive uh, healing and my prayers. All my cyber angels and my new viewers I include in my healings and my prayers. Remember you're not alone and I hope the sound this time is much better as I've got a new headset. Um, my excuses for the inconvenience. Take care, be blessed, and I love you loads. Please share and like.